Yo, what's up guys? Here with another video with your 250 Hawk Dong thing. Chinese crap. So what I am here to complain today is this. That big crack right there. That's not fair. That is not okay. So I realized that I kept hearing a loud like. I kept hearing what sounds out the muffler in the front instead of it coming from the back. And then I put my hand to the muffler to see it like, was I getting any uh, air pressure coming out of the exhaust? It felt really, really low. And then I kept hearing that it was louder in the front than it was in the back. So now I finally pulled over and I see that big crack. So that just tells me that it, whatever material that they're using, it cannot withhold the bike temperature coming from the engine. And I mean, if your stuff is always breaking or messing up, then what's the point of putting it on there? Get some good quality stuff that can actually last long, especially if people are using it as a, as a commuter bike, because you have a street legal, you have it as a dual sport, so it should be able to do what it's supposed to do. So that's my big complaint for today. 250 Hulk, and I gotta see how many miles I got. Did you receive? Nah, I'm good. Okay, well, I have to look. Me too. Let's go see how many miles I got on it. <sighs> All right. I got it. 3,819 miles. Three thousand eight hundred and nineteen miles. And so far I have had a leak coming from the gas tank itself, not the cockpit. And now I've got a crack in that, which I'm probably going to have to seal up because I'm not buying a new one. <laughs> um, speed is not, it's the, this cluster still does not work at all. I, I still have not bought an aftermarket. Um, the fairing came off on this side. So I took off the guard for that too because it just it doesn't look nice with just the guard and no fairing on that side. Guys, it may be cheap, but I don't think it's worth it. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna spend more money fixing it than actually enjoying riding it. Um, so far, Dong Fang has a lot of bikes that just it doesn't operate for a long period of time. You can't operate it for a long period of time without something messing up. What I'm gonna do after I'm done with Dong Fang and all the bikes, I think I'm gonna move on to Lafon because Lafon, I've looked up videos on Lafon or Lifen. I'm not sure if I'm saying it wrong or right. But um I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Lifen's bikes 
see if they're better than Dong Fangs. Because I see that they're they have the same type of bikes, almost the same quality, but not as much complaints as Dong Fang. And LaFon's bikes are a little more expensive, but it might be a little more expensive, just simple fact because of the quality of how long those bikes can last and endure a lot of beating. And they are street legal. And I just, I haven't seen so many or too many complaints about the LaFon. So I think the LaFon will be better than Dong Fang, guys. So if anybody that's in Texas or wherever you're from, I would suggest you get a, a LaFont bike other than a Dong Fang. Don't worry about that price because just as much as you uh, bought it and ride it, you're gonna pay even more just to fix it. Nobody wants to just fix their bike. Yeah, you can fix your bike when it's, you know, when something messed up on it or, you know, when you drop it. But not as you're riding and then constantly have to worry about is the bike gonna make it? That's not cool. So all that pressure is being released out the front instead of the back muffler. So guys, don't get a dong fang. <laughs> Do not get a dong fang. LaFont or Lifen bike is the way to go if you're looking for a cheap priced bike. Not dong fang.